Hallo miteinander, I'm Kshady6, and this is Blackthorn. We've got a long and nasty level in front of us. This guy even tells us to turn back. But we can't do that. We're Blackthorn, we know no fear. Or any decent barbers. But that's besides the point. Um, this level is one of those kind of levels that let you walk down long passageways to get an item only to let you walk all the way back, so it's going to be backtracking heavy. Luckily we have the usual remedy for that, gratuitous jump cuts. Our first problem in this level is that we've got an out of order bridge on the left side. We've gotta find the bridge key, it is possibly up this ladder on the right, so let us go there. Now if you're used to the original version of Blackthorn, you would be expecting a gun upgrade for this level. It is the last level in a set of levels, and those usually had those, right? No such luck. The thing is, the Sega 32X version um, might have the snowy mountains, but it doesn't replace anything. All the other areas after this are left intact. So to keep the game's balance, um, no upgrades for us. No gun, no health. This is a little bit sad, because I think it was a very important part of Blackthorn to experience a feeling of personal growth, even if the game just got higher to make up for it. I think this kind of growth is why people like RPGs so much, me included. Whoops, looks like we shot Handsome Jim again. Well, it's his fault for looking like a Greg, hence the name. But I feel sorry for the guy, I think I should write a ballad in his honor. This is the ballad of Handsome Jim. He got shot in the face and died. The end. Somehow I don't think I'm gonna win any awards with that. Nope. Anyway, we're on our way back, and that means we have the first jump cut of the video incoming, so be prepared. And here we are, very close to the bridge from before, with the bridge key in hand. What we also got in that other room was a wasp. Now that one is not used for anything in specific. Uh, you can use it wherever you see fit, um, and we're going to do that. But I think that's a little bit lame. Um, the wasp should do something that only it could do. But you know what isn't lame? Blackthorn's over-the-shoulder backshot. We've had much too little of that in the series, didn't we? It is Blackthorn's trademark attack. Anyway, we are in search for an iron key now. It is in possession of this ice beast. You know, the classic situation. We've got a lonesome ice beast in a secluded room. Of course it has the item that we need. Now we could just go back from here, but that other way down here on the lower left, it makes me curious. What does it hold? We will see. And the answer is, it has two little spider mines and two enslaved androthy. Now the one on the top right, he has an item, he has a levitator. Now those are usually extremely important to pick up, right? Not this one, it is completely optional and I don't know where it is used, so it can be very useful like this guy says here. It's a straight up lie. You really don't need this levitator, but we're gonna get it anyway. Now I think I've gotta be perfectly honest with you, I really don't like this level. I think it's just pretty awful in design. You've got useless items and ones that you can just use wherever. I said that I didn't like the second level of this um, set, but this one takes the cake. Uh, nevertheless, um, despite my opinion of this level, I will try to make it as interesting for you as possible. By being reckless for example. More reckless than usual. And also by exploding war orcs that sound like gremlins and are obviously completely tired of their life. Because seriously, that guy did not do anything to save himself. At all. The next room uh, will let us see Blackthorn in a very different light. As what might be a slapstick routine. Down the ladder, up the ladder. Down the ladder? Does he see me? Yes, he saw me up the ladder. And down the ladder again? That Greg, I tell you, he's guarding that ladder with his life. But there's an opening, and we pass through. Seriously, is this Charlie Chaplin or Blackthorn? That was ridiculous. But now that we're on his level and have gotten some range between us, this green Greg is no problem at all, just like all the others of his kind. 
Now, going back to a more general discussion, um, I kind of have to wonder why they wanted these exclusive levels um, in between the mines and the forest. In this version it is actually clearly a forest and not a swamp. But I think um, what they thought was that the Andromeda dogs were just very annoying and that the difficulty um, jump between the mines and the forest uh, was pretty high. However, as a Blackthorn veteran, um, these levels only seem to hamper the flow of the game. At the same time, it seems sensible to give inexperienced players a little more time to learn the basics of the game. Now back to where we are currently at. Um, these rooms that we're going to now, we've passed a few intersections. You should really look into these first. This here is a kind of a little treasure chamber. We've got a bomb and a health potion here. Don't miss those two. Um, but what we are really after is another iron key. This level has a lot of them. I think three in total. Um, it's in possession of the war orc on the lower level. Um, Next to that war orc you can see um, a little crack in the landscape. Now we've passed one of those before. They're kind of unique to this level actually. You cannot fall down them but you can uh, let yourself carefully down the ledge. Uh, doesn't matter which one but don't use this one. Um, this one is a mean old trap. There was another crack like this near the beginning of the level and we had to go down that one. But not this one. This one just sets you back and makes you take falling damage. You don't want that. You know, I kind of have to wonder about these levels. They don't seem to tie in well. Why is Blackthorn going through these snowy mountains? I mean, the seer clearly isn't here. So, what are we looking for? Maybe Galadriel's magic just wasn't powerful enough to send us all the way in one go. So, we have to look for him now. Now, had I been in charge of designing these levels, I would have gone on a completely different route. I would have made them post-game content, um, in case you hadn't been able to tell, to make it more interesting for experienced players. My idea would have been um, that after the fight with Sarlacc, he would teleport away with the last of his power to the snowy mountains. Then Blackthorn would uh, chase him down in the harsh cold to confront him once again. That would be something. Um, unfortunately, they didn't want to hear any of that. Yeah, I said in my application and all, but they didn't want to hire me. Those fools. They didn't acknowledge my brilliance. Man, I would have made the best Blackthorn levels that you had ever seen. Actually, I wouldn't have, because I was nine years old at the time. As so often before, I'm just pulling your leg. Now, this guy not only has a can of whoopass for us, but another iron key. We've got what we came for here, it's time for another jump cut. And that jump cut brings us back to a lock that we opened up a little bit earlier. You don't have to use iron keys for specific locks, anyone will do. But you have to get all three of them in the level, if you want to make it to the end. I want to talk about something completely different now, the music of this area. It's kind of the same track as the Sands of Sorrow, just with a little bit of howling wind here and there. Now, what they did for this version of the game is actually very unusual. They also used this track for the forest area. In return, the somewhat jungly sounding music for the swamps was reused for the Sands of Sorrow. Um, not sure why they did that. They made it sound a little bit more Arabian uh, to fit the desert better, but still, a new track for the snowy mountains would have been the best. Then we wouldn't have to hear the same track for eight levels in a row. In this little chamber, we can get a firebomb and a health potion. We're gonna. Well, actually, we are not really going to need those. Um, you will see when we find a bunch of acres. Now this guy has something to say that we've heard many a times before. Are you the chosen one? Why does everyone recognize Blackthorn as the chosen one? I mean, doesn't he look almost exactly like them? I bet if an Androthy grabbed a pair of shades and took a shotgun from one of the Grags, um, he could pretend to be Blackthorn. Imagine the chaos that would ensue because of that. You'd talk to an Androthy and he'd be like, 
What? No, I don't have any items for you. You're the third chosen one this week. You and your posse are robbing me blind, sir. Yeah, I think you can tell from how much I ramble now that um, we're getting really close to the end of the level. We're pretty much done with most of it. Only a few more enemies to kill and it's smooth sailing from there on out. We also still have most of our health, so nothing bad should happen to us, right? Maybe. Well, this war orc is actually the last of its kind, believe it or not. I've noticed that in this version of the game they sometimes act a little bit strangely. This one just whipped at a range where he couldn't have possibly hit us. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? I wonder if they had some trouble programming them in this version. Shouldn't seem too hard, but what do I know? I'm not a programmer. This is the second to last room in this level. Um, Galadriel is actually waiting for us in the next one. And I have to wonder again, was it perhaps his fault that we are, um, that we had to go through these snowy mountains? Here I try to use the levitator for some use, but even there you can't do anything with it. So there's that. Now, you know what I want to imagine? Um, Blackthorn confronting Galadriel about why he's here. So, tell me again why I had to freeze my ass off. Young warrior, my magic works in mysterious ways. It does not send you where you wish to go, but where you are destined to be. So what you're saying is, you messed up the spell, didn't you? Oh, ho, 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 Kyle, please, don't tell the other wizards. You might not be able to tell immediately, but these conversations uh, that just popped up, they were recycled from other parts of the game. But not this one. This one is original. Now this first line of Sarlacc, it sounds like the snow was his doing. Is he a weather wizard now? Maybe. Well, here he's talking about the Andromedogs, my worst enemy. They are awful. But that's it. We're done. We have played all that there is to play of Blackthorn. You know, there have been ups and downs in this let's play, but all in all, I'm going to miss our backwards blasting badass. Absolutely. So, I'm Gish86, this was Blackthorn, and next time, another project that I hope you'll stick around for. Bis bald!